The following is brought to you by DBFX from Deutsche Bank. Whether you call it foreign exchange, Forex, or simply FX, it's all about speculating and trading in the world's many currencies. Today, individual investors are increasingly staking claim to this multi-trillion dollar market that was once reserved for large financial institutions. I started on the institutional side and I thought that this would never be a product for the individual. The currency market uh, from the retail segment has absolutely exploded. According to the Bank for International Settlements, which collects data from 54 central banks, global FX market trades over $4 trillion a day. Spot turnover rose to $1.5 trillion from $1 trillion in 2007. Glenn Stevens is CEO of Gain Capital, a Forex brokerage firm. So even the retail portion of what's being traded globally in this market is a tremendous amount of liquidity. Investors trade currencies using futures traded on an exchange or by using exchange-traded funds. Most trading, though, is done over the counter, meaning without an exchange. It's also referred to as the OTC market. Sure, thanks very much for calling. You can trade it over the counter, you can trade it as a future on a futures exchange, or you can trade it to some degree as an ETF. The over-the-counter market, which right now occupies over 90% of the volume and is driven by money center banks, multinational financial institutions, and retail providers, they all combine together to say, here's the market. Now, for the retail user, they have the opportunity to trade on all three. Steven says the reason the OTC market is so popular is because it's the purest version of trading currencies. Thanks for watching Bloomberg, the educated investor. I'm Carol Biaggi. Bloomberg Educated Investor is brought to you by DBFX from Deutsche Bank.